What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do an unboxing and review of the Skull Candy Crusher ANC2 headphones. Now, I just got these in. I know uh, I'm kind of I'm playing catch up when it comes to the headphone game, uh, but you know how we do when it comes to unboxings. Very excited to try to take a look at these. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we are back in. We got the Skull Candy Crusher ANC2 headphones. Really interested. I was reached, uh, a, call, a subscriber uh, in the comments reached out and asked me to try these out. I was interested in them, but I, you know, I really wasn't on the Skull Candy uh, line like that. But then I got the Rail, a, the Rail ANC Airbuds, and they had a really impressive showing. Uh, so that also uh, tweaked my interest into getting these. So uh, let's go ahead and talk uh, price and specs on these. Let's start with price. First of all, you can get these guys uh, for uh, $229.99. You can get them on SkullCandy.com as well as Amazon.com. They only come in one color, this true black. Now, as we talk about uh, specs, these rock Bluetooth 5.2. They only have codec support for AAC and SBC, so there is no high-res audio codec for these. Uh, the noise canceling, they have an adjustable 4-mic ANC. Okay, and then of course for battery level, you can get up to 50 hours of playback time. They have what they call the rapid charge, rapid charge or fast charge. Uh, that's 10 minutes equals four hours of playback time. Could be better, but we'll take it. No water resistance rating was uh, noted for these he headphones. If there is one out there, I will pin it in the comment section so we can, so you guys would know. Okay, as far as special features, these have hands-free voice control. Adjustable stay aware mode. You have a towel finding technology. Um, basically, you know what the towels are. Uh, so if you have one um, on something, you need to locate it, uh, things like that. You have clear voice smart mics for phone calls, multi-point connectivity. They have that crusher adjustable sensibility, sensory base. We're going to definitely play with that. And app support for Android and iOS uh, operating systems. So let's go ahead and get into this box, ah, get my knife, shout out to my man Aaron, there we go, oh, I forgot one down here at the bottom, there we go, man, this thing cuts, <laughs> all right, let's get into this box, see what we got. All right, right off the top, you got Skull Candy Crusher Quick Start Guide. So basically, let's pull this off. Can we get this out? No, it's actually part of it. So you have to flip it over. It gives you all the information you need in English, and I believe it in Spanish. All right, as far as the button controls, what to do with them. And of course, it gives you actual writing that written uh, options here so you can follow along. But we'll come back to that. And it may also give you the QR code here to download the uh, app, the Skull IQ app is what they call it. So we'll come back to that in a second. All right, as we we got the case, Skull Candy branding on it. Let's pull this out, see what else is underneath here. All right, another user guide. So in case you don't want to use the one on the pen on the uh, on the box, you can always go ahead and check this one out. I think we will hold. I think we will walk through this one when we do our button control test and everything. So we'll hold on to this one. And all right, so that's what's in the box. Let's. Uh, what we want to do? Let's go ahead and take a look inside. The, let's take a look at this case. All right, I like the, the way the zipper is protected all the way around like that. Nothing on the zipper, so it's just a plain Jane zipper, so there's nothing, no branding or anything like that on there. Uh, but like I say, you do get the Skull Candy branding right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's inside the case. All right. Okay, so we got the earbud, the headphones. Listen at me, we'll come back to that. I like this little Velcro strap. Stick in, it stays put. I like that. And it's also wrapped all the way around. So 
what we have here is we have our USB A to USB C charging cable. It's USB A, USB C. Okay. And I really don't want to unravel it because I will not get it back to that shape again. But let's go ahead and do it anyway. Let's see how long it is. All right. Not bad. Okay. And then of course you have your looks like 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Well, it is, but I wonder if it's 3.5 to 3.5 or 3.5 to 2.5. Let's see. Well, just by eyeballing it, I think it is three, but I think it is 3.5 to 2.5 just by looking at it. Yeah, I think it is. 3.5 millimeter to 2.5 millimeter. Let's, you know, let's see. I, let's see for sure. No, it's 3.5 to 3.5. So, you know, because some of them come with the 3.5 to 2.5 connections. These are both 3.5. So that's really, really good to have on hand all right so that's what we have in the in the case in the box so what we're going to do is is we're going to come back and we get this cleaned up we'll come back and we'll take a look at the headphones stay strapped in all right we're back in let's go ahead and take a look at these headphones i really do like the matte finish on them no fingerprints has that soft feel as well i like just take a look around you got the skull candy logo here on both sides of the arms. Okay. Very, other than that, very minimalistic. Uh, just, I just love the, the matte black all the way around. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these ear cups. They're soft, not as soft, you know, they're, they're soft. I felt softer ones, but these are, I think these are more of a foam uh, type, but still very, they seem like they'd be very comfortable. All right, and as far as the headband is, now this is the most uh, pa most uh, padding or cushion rather I've seen on a on a set of headphones. This is a hot, this is a nice a nice amount of uh, cushion there. So having these on long term, and you don't have to really worry about pressure from uh, the top there. This that's nice. That's really nice. All right, so let's go ahead and, and take a walk around. Uh, you got your noise canceling microphones on both ear cups here, all right? And then on the, I guess this will be the left ear, this is the left one. Yeah, this would be the left because of the labeling is right up here. I don't know if you can see it through with the camera, but it's left here, right there. So on the left ear, left ear cup, you have your power button and pairing. You have your uh, bass dial where you could turn it up, increase your base or decrease it. You got your USB-C charging port, charging, and you got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the right ear cup, you've got your uh, volume up, volume down buttons. You have your play pause button, also uh, functions with phone calls. And you have your uh, noise canceling, turn it off and on option, but uh, slider here slide it forward to turn it on, slide it again to turn it off. You have that feature there, okay? Again, very minimalistic look on them, real stealthy. I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on real quick. And we'll take a look and see how they look uh, when wearing them. And here's how they look in the, on the ear. As you can see here, complete coverage, covers the entire ear, very comfortable. Uh, the actual ear cups are, despite the fact that I felt as though they could have had a little bit more cushion on them, but they still feel very comfortable. And that headband, the padding up there is exquisite. It just feels real soft. No, no pressure from the top. The clampiness of the headphones uh, doesn't. It's not a very forceful. It's not like really squeezing the sides of your head. So again, gives you that more comfort. Definitely um, important for long term use, long term wear, and everything. So. Uh, that's always a plus. Also, I love the fact that you got the ratcheting arms here. You know, so you know exactly how many clicks 
to get it to your optimal uh, wearing pr preference and everything. So again, very comfortable uh, set of headphones. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and get these guys paired up and we'll continue our testing. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. Let's go ahead and get these guys paired up. We're gonna start here with the uh, power button. Let's go and get them turned on. All right, got a chime. And look, let's see. All right, now it looks like we are in pairing mode. As you can see, it's like pulsing blue and red instead of flashing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get into our Bluetooth settings. All right, let's go into details. And we should be scanning for it now. And as you can see here at the bottom, Crusher, a Crusher ANC 2s, we'll go ahead and select that. Do we want to pair? Yes, we do. Now you got the volume rocker show up. And of course, all the way at the top, you've got your uh, Crusher ANC 2s already in. So no Google Fast Pair for these, but your standard uh, log uh, pairing process works flawlessly. Let's continue. All right, went in, got them paired up to the Skull ID app, uh, Skull IQ app, sorry. And right at the bottom there, it says there's a firmware update available. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and run this update. Then we'll go ahead and take a walk through the app. All right, we went in, did the update and everything. So let's go ahead and go right through the app. I know any, all you guys who've had the Skull Candy uh, Earbuds, headphones, uh, y'all are very familiar with the app, but we're gonna go ahead and roll through it anyway. Right here, as you see at the bottom of the screen, we are on the headphone, uh, the home page. Up, in, up at the right, here I you know, Skull IQ. Right below that, you got the name of the earbuds, battery level, uh, right there. Apparently, it's not recognizing my battery level, but if you go ahead and hit the the uh, gear in the upper right corner, sorry about that. You got your headphones, you can disconnect headphones, you can change your voice, your voice languages, okay? You wanna disconnect, ask you, are you sure you wanna disconnect? We're not gonna do that. You got the app, tells you about the, aver the app versions, gives you all the breakdown, and of course, the quality program. Uh, if you wanna share information with Skull Candy about how, to, you know, how, they're, uh, how they're acting and stuff like that. Then of course, you got customer support where you got product help, terms and conditions, and uh, con support uh, customer support where you can contact them directly. All right, now moving on down, you've got your voice control. You can turn that off and on. You can enable voice control. So like if you want to say, hey, Skull Candy, turn up the volume, hey, Skull Dandy, lower the volume, turn down the volume, things like that. And of course, you can set it in English and all any of those different uh, languages there. All right. It's a pretty cool feature. I have it on the uh, on the real ANCs when I need it, um, but it's it's pretty cool to have. All right, then of course you got your voice assistant set up here. You can go in and set up whichever one you want. You got Am Amazon's Alexa, you got iHeartRadio, and you have TuneIn if you want to use any of those three. Okay. So then what you need, but you also you need to enable voice voice assistant in order to do that. Now, of course, you got your button controls, your button settings here. So it's going to load up, basically gives you uh, the functions that you can use for like phone calls and everything like that. This is taking a little while to load. So we just want to come back to that later. Uh, let me see if it's going to hose me up here. Ah, uh, looks like it's gonna hold up. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, then it goes, you got your crusher, which is uh, your bass volume. You can turn that up. So we're gonna turn that on. You can, if I can get it to turn on. For some reason, I guess, I don't know, it's not, maybe I, let me say, will I mean, it will not, oh, I guess I have to have the headphones on. All right, so we'll come back to that. We'll play around with that when it comes to the sound test but you do have that option. You got your hearing modes, which you have noise canceling, uh, noise canceling off, you got noise canceling. And then you've got stay away. Again, you gotta have the headphones on in order for these to actuate, or stay aware, not stay away, but you gotta have them on 
in order to actuate these functionality, th these functions here. So, you know, we'll play with that as well. Then of course you got your equalizer, you got your presets, you got music, podcast and movie. Then you also have custom where you can go in and create your own EQ settings. All right. And then of course you've got your personal, personal sound. Uh, I think, uh, let me see. Oh, it didn't go through. Hmm. Let me see what happened. Look, it cra it's crashing on me, but it's a personal sound. Basically allows you to uh, set up, do like a almost, I guess you could say it's similar to that, that uh, like, Sen like the Sennheiser Momentums have it where you can do a personalized sound. Uh, 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 the XM5s have the uh, uh, Find My e Equalizer personalized setting, that type of deal. You get that there as well. You have a Spotify tap if you use Spotify music uh, service. You can, um, connect it to that. You got to take a photo. You can set up to turn your earbuds or headphones into a remote trigger for your phone call for your, uh, camera. So you can say, Hey, skull candy, take a picture, take a photo. You can do that. You got multi-point pairing. We always have that turned on, but you know, we'll test that out. And of course you got to find with tile. So that would, you know, those little tile squares you can have in like your purse on your keychain. Uh, things like that. Uh, you have to have the, the tile file, uh, excuse me, the tile app downloaded onto your phone or your device in order to take advantage of that. Okay. So then you got over here, uh, you got the, the other icon here where you can go in. This is coming soon where you could download new experiences to upgrade your phone use your headphones. Um, that's coming soon. So we'll keep an eye on that. When that becomes available, we'll go, th we'll do a quick review of that as well. So that is a quick rundown of the, of that skull IQ app for the headphones. What we're going to do is we'll go ahead and continue our testing. And then you know how we do with the sound test stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get the track to, uh, <laughs> if I could talk, get the multi-point connections established for these. We're going to go ahead and test that. So we already know what's on the phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get these disconnected. The disconnected there. All right. So now we're going to put these guys in pairing mode. All right. They went on. We're going to go ahead and power them back up. All right, we got it ready to pair. Got that audible. Took a little bit. You see, I love the way it pulses instead of blinks. Was well, pulsing blue and green, uh, red and green, or red and blue? Listen at me. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go ahead and we're going to pair it to the tablet. As you can see there, the tablet sees it. We're gonna go ahead and pair it. Yes. All right, so now we are connected to both devices. Fairly easy, fairly quick. Let's continue our testing. All right, we are back in. What we're going to do now that we have them both connected, we're going to test and see if they have that audio switching feature where you will be able to switch between devices when, uh, when watching video or listening to something. So we're going to pull up some video here. Let's go into YouTube real quick. Let's find something good. Sure. I'm looking at buying one of these. Let's grab this. We'll grab this one and we'll and grab that one. All right. So we got them all queued up. Okay. I'm looking at picking up one of these potentially for my, for my channel. So it's always good to have these up. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and hit play from the phone. All right. We got audio playing in here. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and press play on the tablet. And it switches right over. Very nice. So multi point works, audio switching works. Lovely package. Let's continue. All right. We're back in. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and check out, check out the touch controls. Now I went into the app myself and kind of configured them the way I want them. So we're going to test them based on how I have them configured. As you can see here, you can 
uh, configure the, the, the wheel, wheel press where you can double press on that. I have that set to um, activate my voice assistant. Then of course you've got uh, your volume up. Uh, you can single press, double press, triple press, and then press and hold if you want. Um, I have mine set for the double single, single press, of course, for volume up to volume up. Double press will take me to the next track. And then of course with the down one, single press, or the volume down rather, single press takes me, lowers my volume, double press will take me to the previous track. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, walk through those real quick and see what we got going on. I had to check my watch, I had a little buzz there. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and jump into a track right now. Let's go ahead and grab us a, some music real quick. Sure, why not? We'll do Mav Hoffa, absolutely, let's go. All right, we got audio playing. All right, first things first. All my button controls are here except for my wheel. All right, so now you got the, uh, you wanna single press the center button. Pauses my, pauses my audio. All right, press it again. Audio is playing. Now we gonna do a single press to the volume up. It increases my volume. I keep pressing it, you see it here. All right, now, now we're going to the bottom one, volume minus, and you can see it's lowering the volume, okay? Now if we double press the volume plus, it will take me to my, uh, skip me to the next track. See, it will move me to the next track. Now if I double press the volume minus, takes me to the beginning of the song, do it again, take me back to the uh, previous song, okay? So now if we swip over here to the wheel, if we double press here, should bring up the uh, voice assistant. What's the weather for tomorrow? All right, voice assistant works, fantastic. All right, so all of my button controls work. Obviously, you can go ahead and fine tune to however you want them to, to work on as far as uh, how you want them to be able to actuate. When you go to press uh, the buttons and everything, you go to actuate, but I, I prefer mine like that. That way I have a full range of features and everything like that whenever I need them, all right? So works perfect, let's continue. This is a mic test with the Skull Candy Crusher ANC2 headphones in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Skull Candy Crusher ANC2 headphones in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Skull Candy Crusher ANC2 headphones in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Skull Candy Crusher 2 ANC2 headphones in a crowded location. All right, we are back. We are doing a noise canceling test for the Skull Candy Crusher ANC2 headphones. I, we're in my backyard. We got uh, my snowy backyard. <laughs> That's that. We got uh, construction going on behind me. We got the we got traffic from the turnpike here to my left. The turnpike bridge is just right there in eye shot, and you can hear all the uh, traffic going back and forth there. We got traffic from behind me on the street behind me, behind my house, behind those houses, but right there is a main is the main street through town, and that's always bustling. And of course, we got some central air units here uh, that are firing off and on during the process. I think I don't know if you can hear, but my direct neighbor, theirs is on right now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and put these guys in noise canceling mode. Right now I'm in ambient mode. I am shooting with my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my S23 Ultra. So I cannot show you the app, unfortunately. Um, but I, I wanna go ahead and get these fired off. Let me go ahead and find my button here. All right, we're there. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and turn on noise canceling. All right, currently I am in stay aware mode. So now we're gonna go ahead and fire on noise canceling. Here we go. All right, it just turned. All right, now it's on. I had to cycle through. And I can still hear some of the banging from the 
demolition going on over here. I can still hear that a little bit. I cannot hear, I can, I can hear faintly the, trans, the, the turnpike. All right, it's still there, it's very faint, but it's still there. Uh, like I said, with the uh, demolition, I can still hear that. I hear a loud motor from a vehicle riding past here on the main street behind me. So uh, as far as um, noise canceling for these headphones, I would say uh, it's about par if, uh, I'm not gonna say okay, but it could be better. I, I would give it a, hmm, I'll give it probably about a, a five and a half on the noise canceling. Uh, because it did deaden out some of the sound, but not all of it, especially the noise from the demolition. I would expect that to go away completely uh, or pretty close to complete, but it did just dull it just a little bit. Now, again, I am only sh doing this with just ANC turned on. No audio is being played at all during these testings, uh, just to make sure, just want to test the ANC strength within the headphones uh, themselves, okay? So again, a five and a half, I give it on these. The ANC could be better. Hopefully with a firmware update, it will uh, improve it. <coughs> Excuse me. So this has been the ANC test for the Skull Candy Crusher ANC 2 headphones. It definitely could be better. All right, we are back in for the sound test. I've already went into the system, into the software, to the app and changed the EQ settings. So. We'll go in, I wanna take, show you guys real quick. This is my EQ settings. If you wanna try them, go ahead and pause it and then come back. Now I also turned on the Crusher uh, system there. It does, and you use it by you know, scrolling this wheel, as you can see, as I turn it up, the, the intensity level goes up. You can always turn it down. Or if you have the headphones on, you can always say, uh, watch this, we're gonna do this. Hey, Skull Candy, more Crusher. Just by the voice command, it, it, it moved it up. Hey, Skull Candy, less Crusher. And it turned it back down. So I think that's a really, really cool feature to have in case you don't wanna um, d touch the, uh, the wheel on the headphones or something like that, or say for instance, you're, you're, you're washing dishes or your hands are dirty, or you may have gloves on, like if you're outside shoveling or something like that, you can just go ahead and um, use your voice commands and do functions like that with these, which is a very cool feature. Uh, you don't find that in uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the top headphones, to be honest with you, but it's a great feature to have, but anyway, we have that, to, uh, have that enabled. We'll be using that in the test as well. So we'll see how much of an effect it has on all of our songs. So let's go ahead and jump right into our first one. Actually wanted to make sure we had our optimum listening level for headphones, which I believe is about here in my opinion for me. Uh, everybody else, you know, sir, you guys, uh, you know, it will vary of course. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right. Already uh, a naturally loud sound. Very, I could literally turn this down a notch and I'm still getting that nice, nice sound to it. Vocals are nice and clean. Doesn't sound muffled. I'm not trying to, piano has got nice crispness to it. I like the echoing, the detail is there. Now we got the rest of the band coming in. I'm going to turn up the intensity on it a little bit. All right, I turned it up. Ooh, yeah, it really rattles it with the uh, cellos. When it hits that note, you really feel it. It's a really good feature. Uh, again, it just intensifies the bass when you... Uh, Go to intensify, use that crusher feature. Again, it's vocals. Now we got the background uh, vocalist in. I'm really enjoying how naturally loud these things are. How... All right, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta turn it off because I'm gonna sound like I'm yelling. All right, again, I really liked how naturally 
bright the sound is. The vol their, their natural volume is great. Um, again, I got great clarity when it came to the, uh, lead vocalist, nice detailing with the background instruments. And then of course the sub, ch the cello's string, when it hits that string, especially when you turn up the crusher wheel, it really intensifies, gives you that rumble you're looking for. Um, so I, uh, just, it sounds good. Uh, but the, you know, the real test is coming up and to be honest, I don't even think I had noise canceling turned on to be uh, completely honest with you guys. So let's go ahead and see if we do. I don't think I did. Um, let's see, where is it that? Where would it be? Hearing modes. I didn't. Oh yeah, I did have noise canceling turned on. So the noise canceling is on. And of course the intensity is turned all the way up. And then, uh, so we're good there. And again, you can use your voice controls there as well. So you can say, Hey, skull candy, A and C off and it, tur and it turns off and C. I love it. Hey, skull candy, stay aware on. So it's, it's very cool. I love it. So we go turn noise canceling back on and get back in. I just had a little sidebar. I just love this voice control thing that they have with it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our next song. E40. All right, let me back this up. Cause I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. All right, let's go ahead. I'll go ahead in here and go into this crusher. All right, we got it all the way down to to minimum, to the, the lowest list setting, all right? I didn't think I was gonna be ready for it because I, I, I'm kind of nervous. All right, so here we go. Let's get it. Already by itself, the bass is thumping. And the sub bass rumble is nice. Again, naturally loud, natural bright sound. Again, I'm not all the way up. I, and it's giving me that great sound. The vocals are clean and clear. Let's go ahead and turn up the uh, crusher. Let's see what we got. Oh man, that's bad. I, I just clicked it once and it's really getting it. Let's go one more. Oh, this is rattling the side of my face. Oh my God. This is good. Oh, that this is so good. And you still, you don't lose anything when it comes to the sound. All right, I'm gonna have to pause this because this is this is madness going on right now. You got that uh, sub bass rumble, that ba hard hitting bass. You turn up the crusher intensity, and intensifies it, but you don't lose anything when it comes to the vocals and the brightness of the sound, which is a fantastic. Uh, uh, that's a fantastic feature. And honestly, I turned it up two clicks and it was rumbling. I could feel it in my jawbone, how, when it was vibrating, it was, it's intense. It is so <laughs> intense, but it sounds really good. It's, and you know, you got the, the thump, then the rumble, sub bass rumble fades away nicely. It's so good. Even when you have it turned down, actually, you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and let's go back into crusher. Let's turn it off. All right, we go turn crusher off real quick. Now let's go back into E40. Let's start over. All right. You're still getting solid bass. It's clean, nice sub bass rumble. It fades away. So, so you really can't lose either way. I prefer to have the, uh, the crusher on but even if you are one of those who don't want it on, you still get a good solid bass thump and the sub bass rumble is great on these, but man, that, that crusher just, oh, just really turns it up. Uh, it's, it gives you that, uh, uh, feel, gives me that feel of, uh, and I'm not saying this on the same level, but it gives me that feel of the, uh, Bose quiet comfort ultras, that immersive audio feature, how it takes that, specific package it moves it to the next level that's what the crusher does for these ones in my opinion you may disagree that's fine but that's how i feel if you do disagree or if you do agree hit me in the comments all right so let's go ahead and get into our final song 
All right, here we go. Going again, nice, warm sound. Got that rumble from the keyboard, the, the knock from the kick drums. Again, the brightness makes this sound so good. Oh, and the lead saxophone is so crisp. Oh man, I could literally turn this down in a couple notches and still get that nice sound. These things are natural, have a really bright sound. I love it. And this sounds, it sounds so good. Here comes a high note. Yeah, there it is. Sounds so clean. Now we got the rest of the band coming in. Oh man, so clean. Nice detailing too from, when you talk about your background instruments, very nicely done. Very clean. Oh my goodness. That that's, oh, it just sounds so good when you got the, oh, uh, just, I just love it. I, I, I don't know. I just, man, these are really good. <laughs> these are really good. All right. So let me go ahead and get this cleaned up and we'll come back and we'll talk about my likes and dislikes. Stay strapped in. All right, we are back in with my likes and dislikes of the Skull Candy Crusher ANC2 headphones. And let's go ahead and my, uh, let's start with my dislikes, okay? Uh, only thing, it's not really things I don't like about this, the headset, either the actual hardware or the software. Um, uh, there's only, I can't really think of too many things that I don't like yeah, I, because you can do basically anything you want with these as far as uh, you know, your push button controls and everything like that. Um, if anything is, is I wish that the ANC was improved. I think that's it. I mean, it's not bad, but it can always be improved. So I think, um, I think that covers my dislikes. I love, I love the, I'll save that for my likes. <laughs> I saved all that for my likes. Uh, again, I really can't, I can really can't find anything. I can't, I can't, uh, dislike about these. All right. So let's go ahead and flip the likes since we're already there. Uh, I love the, the stealth look of them all matte black, not too much. You just got your, your logos, uh, glossed out on both arms. I love the, uh, ear cups having these on. I was kind of skeptical at the beginning, uh, because of, uh, didn't feel as pillowy as I thought, but having them on and listening and listening to them and wearing them for long periods of time when that it really does, they really are very, very soft, very, very comfortable. Uh, and you know, you're not, it, it just feels really good up against the side of your head and everything. Um, of course you get that little bit of, uh, a uh, little heat, just not a lot though, but that again, that goes with long-term usage and everything. Uh, but again, very comfortable. And again, this band, headband up here is really comfortable. That's like more, some of the most, like I said in the beginning, this some, some of the most uh, uh, cushion on a headband that I've seen in, the, in all the ones that I've uh, reviewed so far. Uh, very, very comfortable. Uh, headphones all together. I like the fact that you can program your all these buttons here. Uh, you can program them to however you want them, whatever you want them to do. Uh, they're fully programmable. You got double taps, triple taps, taps and holds on all of these. And you also have a double tap on the wheel. So you can have that, you know, function out very nicely. Um, and of course that intensity, that crusher, they, oh, that is ridiculous. Ridiculous. And, and that leads me into the sound. These guys, I love the brightness of the natural volume of these guys. They get really loud. Um, you can really turn, you know, you don't even have to turn these all the way up to get that, that type of bright sound and everything. Um, but it, on top of that, I know some of them, they get that bright sound, but you lose uh, bass or you lose balance and stuff like that. You don't get that here, uh, with these, these could, uh, you get nice, bright sound. You get the balance, uh, uh, that's there, you know, clear vocals and everything like that. You get the nice hard, you get the nice bass drops, 
nice sub bass rumble. And then when you add that, uh, the crusher uh, intensity, you turn that up and then that bass is even more intense and it's awesome. Okay, so as far as I love, and I, as far as the software, I, I really do like it. It gives you all kinds of ways to um, tweak these to, to your liking, different different settings you got. It's, it's reminiscent of, actually, I think this one is uh, a little bit better than the, uh, I, I like the, um, the Soundcore app. I really like that one, but I think this is right up there in that, in that, uh, in that realm when it comes to, uh, you know, being able to fine tune your app, fine tune your headphones and everything like that. I think I put the uh, skull IQ app right up there with that. Um, cause you, you got a whole bunch of things you, you can do with that very and everything. So it very, very good product, uh, and you know, with hardware and software, I just really love it. So let's continue. So this has been an unboxing and review of the Skull Candy Crusher ANC2 headphones. Quite possibly could be one of the best pair of headphones I have overall. Uh, if you're interested in, in these or you're interested in a pair of headphones, definitely uh, take, go ahead and take a look at these. You got to give these guys a once over. Um, they, may, they may sway you. They may not. But again, like I said, I didn't have a, I, before I've said this before, I didn't have, uh, I really wasn't on the skull candy, uh, band, like line, um, be, uh, in the past, mainly because some of the stuff in the past wasn't, uh, was was subpar in my opinion. But since I got, I got the rail ANC earbuds and they really made me appreciate them a little more. And then since I had them, uh, and of course I had other, uh, people in the comments suggest these to me and based on how the, uh, rail ANCs performed, I'll give these guys a shot and I'm glad I did. Um, these guys are great. Like I said, these could easily, these, not easily, but these could possibly be one of the best pair of headphones that I own. And I've got some heavy hitters in my camp. So, and I got more coming by the way. So, uh, again, if you are interested in these, please go ahead and check it out. I'll, as always, leave links in the description below where you can take advantage of the prices. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe uh, to this channel. Um, definitely hit the likes. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way when videos like this and others drop, you guys are in the know. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.